Chimera brain. What kind of a uh, 700 XP? Okay. There we go. Uh, let me change their gambits because I don't want them running and attacking until I say. If I want to steal from an enemy, but I still want them to attack, then I need to swap it to the lowest level. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so this area is the southern half of this. Wellspring Labyrinth, okay. Um, that's where we came. I guess we'll go this way. We'll stay on the outer portion first. Can't you can't fight that thing yet? Why is this all? Oh hi! You just decided to just spawn over here? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and dispel this. I need to make a gambit for dispel. This is the level 47. 1200 XP, not bad. Oh look, black orbs. The floating orb gives off a dark, eldritch glow. Okay. So I guess after a certain amount of black orbs, we go back to that night altar and offer it up, and then something happens. Mm, I want to go in there. This is very interesting. Get him. Let's see if this thing drops a, um, with a drop of black orb. Oh, yeah, they do. Wait, where's that one going? There was two here, and that one took off. actually gone. Okay. Uh, there's a thing here to read. Also, I have a feeling that some of these areas are going to be like, have walls that are illusions that we can go through. So it might be a good idea to just run into all the walls. You never know when they're going to put a secret. Arvin Pillar. From Beast of Tower's base rest the orbs you seek, ripe with hidden magics. Orbs of Tower's magics born here and here alone to be found. So this is the only area I can get orbs? Gotta check these walls. Uh, we can go that way, which leads to... Looks like a dead end. Or this way, which leads to another exit. I wanna go this way first. This target's too far away. Right, this thing, it's right in front of us. Wow, blind. That Vaughn missed it. Casting stop. 
Well, that sucks. Uh, Ash, you want to help? Asuna does not work. Give me your Kronos tier. Oh no, the black orb went away. Stop in the name of Ree. What's up, Ledge? Ree. Black orbs. There we go. Ooh. This must be the map. The map of Pharaoh's first ascent. Okay. So. Okay, so that area leads to a dead end, and then we have to come back and go through in order to go up further. Until it loops all the way around, so. Yeah, basically we want to stay on the bottom and keep going the way that we're going, because we'll loop back around to the the front area. But I want to go out of this exit and get the treasure here that we saw. Yeah. Da -da -da. Black orbs. I'm gonna say like we're gonna need like a good like twenty. Before we uh, offer it up to the altar, Gil. Anything else here? Uh oh. Altar of Knights. Uh, should I offer this and see what happens? I guess so. Does it does it show me how much black orbs I have? Probably not. Oh, it does. Very rarely when a certain creature is slain, the lo the lost life force coalizes into tiny black orbs. So magical devices are said to draw on this energy. Okay. We currently have four. Let's put them in here and see what happens. First seal has been broken. Did that take all of my orbs or just one? That only took one. Okay. So we gotta break the seals on the altars. We'll get that other one uh, when we loop back around. Also, this reorchestrated music reminds me of, like, Star Wars The Phantom Menace or something. Yeah. Kill this thing. Nice. Gotta check these walls. I don't know if there's if they're gonna put illusions in here or not, but I'm checking. Did I check in here too? I don't think I did. Inside the walls. Okay. Our crystal. What? Oh, probably this thing. 
Mimic! Mimo! I got to ore. Da, 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 da. Kill this thing. Illusion. Oh, looks like there's a door up here that's locked. Ah, I want to see what this is. A pair of Hermes sandals. That's clearly an accessory, right? Yep. Oh, equip haste. Nice. Considering I don't have a, I don't have anyone that can cast that spell. Uh, this is actually a good item. Very good, very good item. I don't know if that was RNG based or if that's always uh, spawning there. Threshold of night. Okay, so in order in order to unlock this, we have to uh, lift the magic on those altars. I'm pretty sure. Also, this says we're already on floor two. Grab this here. Haste is always a good. It's always good to get on your warriors or healers. Yeah. I should just have it equipped on somebody at all times, but uh, I'll probably most likely just equip it for like boss fights or whatever. If I need it. Da, 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 da. But I did hear there was some good loot uh, in this area inside. But the problem is a lot of it is RNG based. And the last time that I played I spent like... I spent an hour and a half exploring Sorobi steps and trying to get a good RNG roll on some loot, but I could never do it. Oh god. A lot going on here. Gotta kill those things. I grab the black orb. There seems to be a lot of poison being dropped here. Oh, this opens up into two rooms we can go into. Redis, level 48. Black orb, that black orb just left. Okay. Uh, let's go down here, I guess. We're gonna have to walk down that long pathway. Nothing there, okay. Fake. Yep, knew it. It's always a fake. Whoa, you obtain a Zeus mace. Uh, 
Rare or not rare? That, mind you, that was from an enemy drop. So I don't know. Zeus Mace. Eh. Nothing really too exciting about that. But it is a weapon. I mean, that was dropped by an enemy, so... This is also a dead end here. Another mimic. Okay. Not a mimic. Okay. Okay, so I guess we'll just keep going this way. Um uh, Kill these things. Vaughn, go for this one. So all this leads to that area as well as that long pathway. So I guess we go back over here and go out an offer up to alter or something that's over here. Surely there's, there's one out here. Yep. There it is. It all says the same stuff. So we'll offer one up. Second seal is broken. And there's a save crystal which has an altar on that side as well. So unless there's three, uh, we're probably good. Unless there's a hidden fourth one around here somewhere. Okay, let's we'll go this way. I'll we'll go back this way. To a bit of new territory here. Oh. Ah, okay, so that leads over there. Uh, let's not go there yet. We gotta finish up this side first. Fran level 44. Fran. Bond levels up. Bond level 33. Or 43, excuse me. Ha. <laughs> I'd have some tr trouble if I was level 33 here. Benighted child, unchosen with life so short, this tower freely may you tread. In your passing, learn of truth. In your passing, speak of truth. These words writ by hands undying. Okay. Uh, did we go to that dead end area or no? Oh, we have not been down this way. I could have iron ore. Y'all can kill it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh no, there it goes. Probably have enough of these. Gotta check the walls real quick. Alright. Uh, I guess we go down this long hallway and then we'll just back out to the uh, the main entrance that we came into. Yeah, let's just run back. Let's skip all these guys because I don't need them anymore. That thing is still spinning there. Let's go ahead and save it. So we, we went around the whole bottom area. We have activated two of the three shrines. About to activate the third one right now. And then I guess that door that we saw earlier is gonna open now. Seal of Night loses power. Okay. Uh, and just so we're clear, this waystone is still not active, or is it? Nothing happens. Okay. Uh, yeah, we basically got to run through the whole thing again. Da -da 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 -da. I was gonna run through here and ignore most of these enemies. Probably. Wow, disable and petrify. Since when did these uh, Chimera brains decided to just start using those attacks and they start landing? Alright. Up to floor two. Threshold of Night. Read the inscription. Ahead, the Watcher waits. First of three. Yet without wisdom, return whence you came. So boss fight then. Ooh. Definitely a boss fight. Uh... Dalmasca? Dunes of Profaning Wind. I should probably have Libra on. In case they try to, try to throw some traps my way. Oh, you don't want me to go that way, huh? Okay. What about this way? You want me to go this way? Apparently so. Apparently we're picking the right path. What is that down there? Not enemies, the, the things in the far back area. Uh, looks like something over here. Let's go over here. What is this tower? Ha. 
Pandemonium. The first thing we need to do is dispel. Ready stone gaze. Apparently it's weak to uh, wind attacks because Ash is going ham with the uh, Eroga. He's immune to magic. Wait, is our weapons magic? Uh, we don't have weapons on that have any element to it, unless it's physical attack. Ash, stop wasting your... Stop wasting your magic. There we go. He is immune to melee, yes. So he's immune to melee and spells, because Ash is was casting spells, and it's also immune. There we go. So it was it was immune to physical and magical attacks. Okay. I always think that's a weird mechanic when it comes to boss fights. I don't know, it's just weird. Like, immune to everything, so you can't do anything for a little bit. There goes Ash. Stone gaze. Come on, hurry up, kill him before he freaking goes. There we go. Uh almost like his uh that that was a defective model. Du -du 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 -du. Okay, yeah, that was one out of three, the door said. The magic's binding the waystone fade. Just randomly put us in the room. Let's change this uh, music up. Let's hear what the OST sound like. Pretty much the same. Pretty much. Okay. And then we just run through all of this stuff here and go to the waypoint. The waystone. Also, internet acting up just a little bit there. Da -da 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 
Well, no place to go but up, says the map. Magic stirs within. 